All right, I'm gonna show you how to make a tessellation based on a triangle. So the first thing we're gonna do, uh, you know what, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna right click, we're gonna get rid of the axis because we don't need it. And uh, then we're gonna go up here, go to regular polygon, and I'm gonna create two points. And then here it's saying, well, how many points do you want in all? So I'm gonna put in three, because there is, and I'm gonna go to move, and here is my equilateral triangle. Okay, and then I'm going to make it kind of big just to make life a little bit easier. And I'm going to go to point and new point, and I'm going to click here on segment A, here on segment A, and then I'm going to click something, a point in the middle, and there we go. And then I'm going to go to move, oh, go over here to rotate object around the point by an angle. So it's gonna be highlighted and the directions up here say select the object, then the center point, and then the angle. Okay, so I'm gonna take point D, that's the object to rotate. I'm gonna have it rotate around B and I want it to be 60 degrees clockwise. Boom, so this suddenly shoots up here that's been rotated 60 degrees. I'm going to do the same thing. So this is still highlighted. I'm going to click on F, B. The 60 is already there, so I'm just going to change it to clockwise. Boom. And then I'm going to click. This is still highlighted. So I'm going to go E is going to be rotated around B, 60 degrees clockwise. And there you go. So if I click on the Move button, and now check this out. Boom. As I move F, this guy rotates. And as I move this, this rope moves, and this moves. So there we go. And then as I move, everything works out like that. Kind of cool, all right? So now, um, but this triangle I don't actually need. So I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to hide it. So I'm going to do show object, which removes it. And then I'm going to go up here to polygon. And I am going to click on the new modified triangle. So I start up there, C, A, D, F, E, B, E prime, F prime, D prime, and back on, back to C. And there is our polygon. Okay, kind of cool. And that's our new polygon that the entire tessellation is going to be based on. All right, kind of cool. And uh, let's kind of make it a little bit smaller doesn't have to be. And then, um, boy, how are we going to do this? We need to translate. Huh. Oh, no, no, we're going to rotate. We're still going to rotate. So I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to rotate the object around a point. Now, this time, I'm going to click on the polygon. I clicked on it. And then I'm going to click on B. And then I want it to rotate at 60 degrees clockwise. Watch what happens. Wow, this gets rotated around. Now I'm going to click on this polygon, click on B, and rotate 60 degrees clockwise, go. And then I'm going to click on this one, this one right here, and click on B, and 60 degrees clockwise, go. And then one last time, I'm going to click here, B, 60 degrees clockwise, boom. One last time, this polygon, I'm going to click on it. B, 60 degrees clockwise, go. There we go. So I'm going to click on the move. And remember, this is my original figure right here. So as I move it around, things, this triangle right here is the original. So, whoa. Uh, right. Oh, there we go. There we go. And so as I move, everything happens, okay? Um, then, you know, I, what I'm, I'm going to do really quick, I'm going to, I'm going to, color these. So I'm going to make that red. I'm going to make this and I'm right clicking on it and changing the color. Just I'm just grabbing something. So right click on this, object properties, green and right click, object properties, whatever that color is. Uh, right click, object properties, uh, funky color and finally right click object properties and oh let's make it um, I don't know what else what, what color do I want 
Oh, blue. Let's do blue. Okay, there's blue. All right, and there's our, our images. Okay, and now <clears throat> what I'm going to do... Oh, boy, how am I going to do this? Okay, I'm going to choose my midpoint, and I'm going to click right here. Boom. And then I'm going to click over here. I'm going to do midpoint, and I'm going to go boom. So basically, it's clicking and making a point midpoint. And then I'm going to do vector, and I'm going to go vector from here to here. And, and then I can click the move tool. And I'm going to go over here to translate object by vector. And I'm just going to repeatedly click on an object, click on the vector. Click on the object, click on the vector. So here we go. Click on it, click on the vector. Click on it, click on the vector. Click on it, click on the vector. Click on the green one, click on the vector. Click on the brown one, click on the vector. Click on the bluish one, click on the vector. And there we go, look at that. So now, if I wanted to, click on the move. I go back to the original. This red one, remember, is the original. And that's the one that everything's based on. And there we go. So now, oops, there we go. So now, it's getting crowded with all these labels. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it right now. Um, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of move them everything down. So now I'm gonna do the midpoint tool, and I'm gonna click here and here. So that's gonna move everything. Oops, and then the vector, and I'm gonna go click and click. Now it's gonna move everything down. So once again, I'm gonna click on the vector, the object, click on the vector. So I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna translate object by vector, and this is gonna be cool because I can go. Click on the object, click on the vector, click, click, green, click, weird color, click, kind of lightish blue, click, and regular blue, and click. All right, see how it goes? But then I'm going to still use that same vector. I'm going to do the same thing over here. So I'm going to click on this and move it down. See how the vector is shooting down? So it's going to translate going down. So I'm going to click on this. Click on this vector, click on this, click on this vector, click on this, click on that vector, click on this one right here, click on that, and where am I? I, I lost track. Uh, oh, here, the blue one, click on the vector, and then the red one, click on the vector. See how it's all kind of coming into place? And, um, and so if I want to keep going to the right, I can use this hexagon, see this hexagon right here, and use this vector, and it'll take everything in this hexagon and move it in that kind of shooting off in that direction. So I'm going to keep using that same vector. And uh, let's go around. I'll start on the red and go clockwise. So I click on the red, click on the vector, <laughs> and it's getting kind of crowded. Uh, click on the blue, click on the vector. Click on the green, click on the vector. Click on the, I don't know, brown. Click on the vector. Click on the whatever color. Click on the vector. And click on the blue. And click on the vector. So now it's just a matter of just me keep going. So I'm going to click on the move. And remember, this was my original triangle. Everything started with this little triangle right here. And there we go. So now it's time to start hiding the labels. And uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do Command E, which is Apple E. I'm going to click on this objects, and I'm going to go to basic, and I'm going to click on show the labels. It's going to take a little while to think. All right. Now that it's shown up, it took a long time, but okay, now that it's there, I'm going to unclick it again, and this time everything is going to, all the labels are going to disappear. And I have to wait again. It's probably a long time. All right, and now I'm going to click close, and now all the, the labels are gone. It's kind of tidy a little bit, and now I'm ready to save, and that is how we create these really cool tessellations. Woohoo!